<laughs> Sarah. Uh, how are you? Uh, I'm Louis, and we play an Admiral Fado. Energetic, people seem to like it. So Aye. Good. And uh, it's like the end of <clears throat> a long summer of gigs for us, so it was nice to uh, finish on a high note and also in a place where I've never really played before. <laughs> place mostly um, scattered about down south we went to Ireland for one as well so quite a few different places it was good to that's the first summer we've really done that many festivals so it was, we definitely got into a routine by the end two two Scottish festivals or three in fact um, and the rest have been uh, sort of down south uh, like uh, Glastonbury and Latitude uh, Green Man end of the road, lots of fine ones in between, lots of small kind of boutique uh, ones that, are, that are actually treat you really well because they are so small and they're just really appreciative that you've t that you've turned up, you know, and uh, the, the sort of ones that there's not really any headline bands, they're just, there's just an order that's kind of picked and it's not to do with folk necessarily knowing who you are, you know, they just have a, they just, they don't have a good time, so, um, and then, as Sarah said, one, one festival in Ireland as well. Roughly a month off just now to work on some new material for a new record um, that we're recording in mid November. Um, so, just kind of odds and sods um, between then and now. March, wasn't it? March. Um, yeah, we well, we were over for South by Southwest, um, which was amazing. You just end up playing in loads of different places. So we had a, it was a Scottish showcase gig that we did, but then another one we ended up playing at someone's backyard, just at a barbecue. So that was good. So a big mix. Um, and then after that, we did a few other dates while we were over there. Managed to tie them <coughs> in in uh, North Carolina. Uh, New York and Boston, so that was a 
whole new experience. But we really want to go back at some point, sort of money willing. At some mm. point we'll go. And we were talking earlier about uh, uh, it seems to be quite a good time for Scottish bands to to be over in the states. Um, and and like like I said that uh, we managed to to do like some really good shows and also uh, um, get quite a lot of attention while we're over there. Uh, mostly just folk just coming to the shows and and really surprised that we managed to we we sold out the venue in North Carolina, which was really like quite a large venue, and it was it was most uh, almost 100 percent down to the fa down to the fact that the people who were um, uh, doing the show, putting the show on, had, had really bust their asses to like uh, make sure there was people there. And, uh, uh, but but we sold a lot of records while we were over there, and uh, it seems to be that folk are quite keen on Scottish music over there. So it's another reason why we think, although it'll cost us a hell of a lot of money to go back, we, we would like to do that if possible. Uh, well, imminently it's working on some new material for the second album, which, as Lou said, is in November. Um, we've got sort of most of it, but it's a little bit different this time um, around, just because working on new songs is a bit different. Um, so that's kind of taken up all our time um, over the next few weeks. Um, and then just... It's kind of snuck up on us. Yeah. Like, um, we've known that these dates are coming up recording dates in November for a while and uh, but it's been quite hard to to sort of almost motivate ourselves to actually do work in the time that we're not doing gigs because the gigs have been really set like weekends you know these festivals it's, it's been hard to try and find the time to get together throughout the week or whatever and, and work because we're all living in different places and stuff anyway and um, so now it's it's sort of six weeks or so until um, D-Day <laughs> uh, and we need to like we need to get get our shit together but it'll be as Sarah said it's quite different this time round because the first the first record we made which we recorded in 2009 uh, had been the work of two and a half years of, of sort of writing with no pressure over over that time up until like a, a couple of weeks or a month before, and we went in and did it, and so it was really a long time we had to write, to write it. And this time it's it's a bit more, um, it's a it's a very much a shorter space of time to work in, uh, and it's getting there. It's it's not completely unwritten, um, to quote N Natasha Bedingfield. Mm -hmm. yes. um, well, at this stage, reference. it's not unwritten, but uh, it's it's on its way, and and we just need to kind of sprinkle the um, shaggy magic on it. Yeah, a couple of shabbas. Your life.